Hello, my name is Chris Joran. I'm an application engineer with Trimex Solutions out of the Knoxville, Tennessee office. And today we're going to talk briefly about just how to set up. We're not going to run through all the options, but just how to kind of set up a rendering in PhotoView 360. So, of course, the first you want first you want to turn it on. So, under SolidWorks add-ins, you can select it there, or under the drop-down here under add-ins, we can go ahead and select it there. All right, so one thing to be aware of, uh, one thing that kind of catches a lot of people off guard is the other feature manager design tree kind of dragged out. And when you hit F for fit to screen, you're going to see, you know, this is what I expect my render to be, this, this box over here. Uh, in truth, it's going to render that. So your part is going to be shifted over a little bit. So... Before you do your rendering, just make sure you click right here and collapse your feature manager tree and then hit F. And this will be a nice centered render. So next we'll look at a couple things we can change here. So the first is our part appearance. If we know what we're using, um, say it's a nice polished copper or brushed copper, we can simply drag that onto the part. As I let go, kind of look at my options here. I can add it just to that face. I can add it to the feature, to the body, or to the entire part. So be aware of uh, where you're adding things. So I'm going to add this to the entire part. We do want to make sure perspective view is on. So Non-perspective view is great for modeling, but it's not a realistic way that you would see things. Turning on perspective is just a little more realism. This is a little more uh, closely resembles how the human eye is going to actually see this item if it were real. So we definitely want that turned on. The next is our backgrounds. So first we have appearances, and then we have scenes. So scenes are going to be our basic backgrounds. We have three point faded is sort of the default. It's what we already have in here. Um, but we could do three point orange or green. You know, orange might look, or green might look good with that copper. And we can see it doesn't look great. It doesn't, you know, it's not a fantastic looking background. But when we jump into render tools here, I can turn on what's called integrated preview. What this is going to do is sort of give me a preview of what photo view is going to render. So it does take a second to load up and it will kind of uh, stretch your graphics card a little bit. So you don't want to model with this on very much. But we can see that scene looks a lot better now. We have some nice shadows. And it's going to take a while to resolve all of that. So. But you can actually model if you want to. Um, you know, I can move this around. It just takes a second to catch up with you. And this will vary based on your processor speed and your graphics card. All right, so I'm going to fit that to screen. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And that's what I want my render to look like. So from here, we could go into options and sort of choose our rendering options. They do pop up over here, so quick tip, make sure that's dragged back out. So we can choose our output image size and all of that good stuff. So right now I have my render quality set to good. You know, you can go extremely high, but... Alright, so once your settings are good, I'll go ahead and turn off my integrator preview to make sure everything is kind of aligned how I want it. Maybe I want to rotate this just a little bit. And you just click Final Render. So my quality isn't set to very large. This won't take too long. And 
And we can see our progress up here at the top. So this is going to be our progress bar. We can see it's kind of chipping away and rendering each little bit. So the more complex your appearance and the more complex your background and the uh, less powerful your video card, uh, the more time this is going to take. So you'll get a nice fun noise uh, when it's finished. We can simply click Save Image. Choose where I want to save it. Just go ahead and save it to the desktop. So to get out of this window, a lot of people get kind of trapped here. There's no axe. You just hit Escape. Everything's going to be alright. Just hit Escape. Uh, and we'll just jump to the background. Or to my desktop here, rather. And there's our render. So a quick way, Photo V360 has its limitations. It, it is not as powerful as Visualize. Um, you do need SolidWorks Professional to use it, but it is very fast and it is integrated inside of SolidWorks. So the part that you're working on, the views that you're used to, it's a lot easier to manipulate for someone just getting into rendering that doesn't want to take on uh, jumping all the way into Visualize. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the accompanying blog post or to reach out to 888 Trimac. And as always, thanks for watching.